सो हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार और आज हमारा सेवन डेज सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स का लास्ट डे है एंड सिंस लास्ट सिक्स डेज वी हैव लर्न लॉट अबाउट द स्टार्टअप्स एंड फ्रॉम वेरी फर्स्ट डे वी हैव स्टार्टेड लर्निंग ऑन द स्टार्टअप ऑन द फर्स्ट डे वाज ऑन द formation and recognition of startup and on the second day we had understand about the building and understanding of startup culture then on the third day uh, we have discussed the valuation aspect with uh, ca rajiv singh ji and uh, on next day we have discussed the income tax benefit with mr tarun after that yesterday we have got a very good understanding with respect to the legal aspects agreements and other procedures which is important for startup now on the last day again one of the very important topic we have that is intellectual property right so for the discussion we have shweta singh ji who will be taking the session forward and give, will give us the understanding how it is important what would be the procedure and all so we welcome you ma'am on today's session and i would request tarun ji to welcome shweta ma'am and give a brief introduction of shweta ji over to you tarun ji thank you anurudh uh, main shweta ji ko introduce karunga shweta ji ko main last 8 years se janta hu ma'am ko and not only in context of business connection ma'am ko main personally janta hu aur मैम जो है एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की फाउंडर है एनोबल आईपी की उसके अलावा मैम चैरिटी सेक्टर में काफी अच्छा काम करती हैं शी रन एनजीओ नेम्ड एज वाइफ और शीरियल करके भी उनका एक कैंपेन है और मैम का प्रोफाइल इतना ज्यादा बड़ा है कि उसको एक छोटे टाइम के अंदर मैं कैप्चर नहीं कर पाऊंगा अगर उनके जस्ट अवार्ड की बात करूं मैं तो शी हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड एज अ टॉप टेन सी ऑफ इंडिया By India Today और उनको Ministry of Finance से भी अवार्ड मिला है Times में भी फोर्टी अंडर फोर्टी में मैम का कवरेज है Forbes में भी थर्टी अंडर थर्टी में मैम का कवरेज है तो मैम का प्रोफाइल इतना ज्यादा बड़ा है सिंस आज हमारे पास टाइम भी शॉर्ट है तो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट कि मैम अपना इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट के ऊपर सेशन को बिगिन करें और उसके अलावा मैम से हमें काफी एक मोटिवेशन मिलता है सिंस मैम इज अ फर्स्ट जनरेशन सीरियल एंटरप्रेन्योर और अपने फैमिली में उन्होंने बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया और शी इज अ वीमेन एंटरप्रेन्योर तो एक वीमेन्स के लिए जो स्टार्टअप के लिए स्टार्ट करने के लिए मोटिवेशन है और मैम हमारे लिए वो सोर्स ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन है तो आई रिक्वेस्ट मैम टू स्टार्ट विद योर डेलीब्रेशन Thank you so much, Tarun and Anurudh, for a wonderful introduction. And hi, everyone. So I can share the screen, right? Ah, uh-huh. you can share your screen and uh, turn on your camera as well. Yeah. So, uh, am I, my screen is uh, visible, right? yes yeah. it is yeah yeah so hi everyone so today the topic which has been given to me is uh, intellectual property rights for innovators and researchers and startups i would say and uh, when it comes to ip ip is for every business every business because every uh, business either it's a startups or a small business have some have some kind of ip so that is uh, we need to understand that i always say that we breathe ip every day but we don't give respect to that because due to sometime uh, we are not aware and uh, sometime we we ignore it so uh, to understand the concept of intellectual property rights we need to understand the concept of tangible and intangible assets and then we have to differentiate that how well we are taking care of our tangible assets and how we need to take care of our intangible assets also so when we talk about tangible assets any tangible assets have its own its own value and we purchase that and while we purchase or we own that tang- tangible asset we have some legal document around it that like uh, uh, like in the slide you can see i have given two tangible assets one is house and other one is vehicle so if you purchase your house you have your legal agreement registry which says that this particular uh, ip that this particular house belong to this particular person and if you purchase a vehicle you have rc and then the rc says that particular vehicle vehicle belong to this particular person but you have the rc but you cannot cross the red light you cannot jump the traffic red light why because 
there is rule and regulation there is a law which you need to follow you abide you have to follow the rule and regulation of the law for driving also now same way as you have tangible assets like your house vehicle or your infrastructure your 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 office utilities but anything which you own which you can touch right is your tangible asset same way we have our intangible assets also intangible means the properties which you cannot touch but you can feel the properties and intellectual property is an intangible assets because ideas ideas you can only sense it you can only feel it but you have to make into a tangible product convert the ideas into a tangible product so now when there is intangible assets when there are creativity when there is innovation when there is ideas that when there is a brand right when the goodwill of the brand the identity of the brand these all becomes your tangible assets because everything uh, comes or created or innovated through your intellectual intellectual that means through your brain it becomes your intellectual property now as your tangible assets are being protected as i told house or uh, your registry uh, vehicle rc same way to protect your intangible assets to protect your ip uh, in intellectual property there are few rights legal rights that's why it becomes intellectual property rights so these rights protect your tangible assets so we will go in detail that which kind of innovation and creativity are covered under which right now when we talk about innovation especially for the startups i'm talking right now or small businesses when we talk about ip intellectual property we are we always wonder so when we see some new product or process in the market very innovative we always wonder wow what a what a wonderful product it is it it is but we never see how that product came into the market or how that innovation came into the market so the the i would say the the birth of the innovation invention or innovation comes only when there is idea so any goods for any good startup to be established the the idea behind a good startup is the the best problem the, uh, the startup is working on so the idea is born by the problem that means you identify a good problem where where uh, where, where the society is facing the problem you identify you come up with a technical solution that means you come up with a innovative technical solution and then the invention is born that means the new product or process is born and in between there are so many things so many things when we will go in detail that how your this invention is being protected by different kind of ip rights now there are different characteristics of these intellectual property rights the first is it is geographic in nature that that means uh, a particular ip will be only given to a particular country that means uh, if you are filing uh, something in india it will be only protected it, it will be only protected in india outside india anyone can uh, use that or uh, can manufacture that can sell that they cannot uh, file it again because already you have filed in india so novelty has been lost but yes they can use manufacture that means they can exploit your product outside the country where it is not filed so ip is geographic in nature if you feel like that if you have your market outside india you need to file in those market like you feel that i have apart from india i have market in china so you need to file in china in us you need to file in us so every country's patent law is different jurisdiction wise it is divided and you need to file jurisdiction wise country jurisdiction wise according to their patent law or their ip law so that way we need to follow we need to keep in mind that it is geographic in nature territory specific uh, jurisdiction is specific so we need to follow the uh, follow jurisdiction's law according ip law according to that it is meant for innovators or the applicants or the creators who is who are actually innovating or bringing that product into the market and the innovator who is the ip owner uh, you can call we as in the legal language called applicant so either uh, the applicant or the owner can exploit the invention in their own way you can license it you can technology transfer it you can sell it you can uh, uh, go in different licensing way partial licensing full licensing so totally depend what kind of uh, uh, arrangement you want to have uh with your intellectual property you can always claim your ownership if someone is copying that 
that then again ip creates monopoly because if i have taken uh, patent suppose on a particular uh, element or feature of a product so until unless i want no one can use that particular element in their product also so that creates a monopoly and if any name i have taken i am not practicing that name also but some some startup comes with the same name i can sue that person because that has created a monopoly and i have that trademark on my name then i already discussed you can license sell assign someone invention is made public it is one of the best characteristic because once you file it it be it, It, the the enforcement start from the day you file it right so the ip belongs to me but the uh, government discloses it to public so that public knows that this particular invention has been filed by someone who is working on this model so this is this is next coming in the market so public disclosure is important encourage further innovation in, innovations because once you you innovate something and you get recognition for it uh, through your uh, through your i would say law Through through different sources, right? Then you uh, keep on innovating, keep on inventing because you know that IP is not only a fame giving, but yes, IP is equally proportionate to your uh, uh, valuation of a startup. So IP is very important when it comes to the valuation of a startup or a company because uh, if you say big companies, their seventy percent, sixty percent valuation is based on their intellectual property rights only. now coming to the major type of intellectual property rights so as i said in initial in the first second slide only that different kind of innovation and creativity has different kinds of right different kind of intellectual property has different kind of right so if you have some invention that means if you have some technical or functional invention advancement product process then patent apply there so patent uh, act 1970 in india apply here and in different countries their patent law will be applicable so uh, you need to understand that when there is invention when there is technology when there is technical features elements uh, either as a product or process patent apply there when you have authorship literary uh, artistic work Uh, uh means uh, you complete uh, uh music industry is based on copyright you complete uh, bollywood or hollywood movie industry is based on uh, copyright your uh, publishing industry is based on copyright your art industry is based on copyright so anything which has uh, which which has creativity will be given copyright then comes your uh, uh, business identification so any sign symbol logo single uh, shape color uh, 2d 3d effects order in uh, in fact which is uh, which actually becomes the business identification for your uh, identifier for your business or for your product or services so that comes under trademark i am known by enoble ip so enoble ip wherever enoble ip name goes so people know that this is a firm which is which deals with i in ipr so if my name goes dr shweta singh that means she is founder of enoble ip so no one will copy that because we have a registered trade trademark for ip services for education services into ip so that means like your mcdonald like your uh, Uh, pizza hut like your nike nike like so you name the brand like your pharma brand so they have their uh, trademark registered and not only their uh, company's name as trademark but their product name also so very simple example here like uh, if you go and uh, have uh, mcdonald if you go and eat burger in mcdonald all burger had written name alu tikki burger paneer uh, something Make Maharaja Chicken Burger. So every burger you will see, if you if you have ever noticed on the on the wrapper, if Alu Tikki Burger is written, there is written T, and that means they have applied for the name of the product also. Then if you go and buy different product of uh, suppose Sun Pharma, uh, so all the product have different trademarks uh, registered. so that way not only the company name is trademark but the product name is also trademark or the services names names are also trademark in fact uh, trade uh, coca cola company ha has trademarked the shape of their bottle uh, because that is that, that that is one of the business identifier of them and when we go in detail i'll uh, take uh, uh, trademark much in detail then 
then we have design registration so design registration is given for a product's outer appearance how it looks from your naked eyes what is the shape of your mobile what is the shape of your uh, dress what is the shape of your laptop or table chair glass mobile covers anything anything any product which are different and original shape uh, will be registered under design registration there are other types of ip rights like trade secret uh, geographical indication so trade secret is something like uh, many of the businesses goes with it many of the businesses doesn't go with it trade secret is more like uh, if i don't want to register something in patents because patent has a lifetime so every ip has a lifetime which we will discuss after this uh, so uh, patent have 20 years so after 20 years anyone can use the technology so i don't want my technologies to be disclosed or my business method to be disclosed so i'm not going for a patent but i'm going for a trade secret now the problem with trade secret it is not registered by any government uh, legal uh, i would say certificate in fact uh, trade uh, trade secret you have to maintain yourself through different confidentiality agreement then comes geographical indication so geographical indication means any particular product which is belonging to a particular place of origin that means banarsi sari uh, nagpur oranges now these uh, product has to be registered under gi so darjeeling tea so and one person will not be owning geographical indication it's a group of association that state association will be owning the geographical indication pulkari which is a gi for uh, delhi punjab and haryana then your uh, nagpola puri uh, slippers then uh, your nagpur oranges so there are then uh, recently given that rasgulla so there are many product which has a special a special attachment with that local reason uh, because, because of the taste because of the origin you can say anything which 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 only gives through that so comes to that soil or through that area right like marble of uh, agra is also uh, under uh, gi uh, registration now so uh, these product which is belong particular place of origin comes under gi registration and there is no one single owner who is going to own the gi then comes your domain name so your uh, your ip is automatically you own the ip when you buy the domain name was www.innobalip.com or uh, whatever your school, university name is xyz.ac.in so these all uh, uh, domain name as the as the pers person purchases the domain name, the IP comes to that person automatically. Then we have IC design layout, integrated circuit design layout. So your camera, your mobile, your laptops, your your uh, your um, aircraft industry. So these industries have very uh, integrations of chips and also these uh, this particular IP is uh, is for integrated circuits for these industries only. Now. So the most important right for any product or services is patents. And when you go in detail, you will find that patent is nothing but a legal certificate stating this. As, as I told you, for the for for your tangible assets, you get different agreement ownership agreement. Same way, patent is a legal document, a legal certificate stating that this particular product or process belongs to this particular person. And believe me, that product and process doesn't have to be totally new you can do the improvement on the previous product you can change one element or one feature increase its efficiency or reduce the cost of that particular product or process and you can own the ip there now the question comes will anything get patent no will everything get patent no so why because there is criteria to get patent and three three there are four major criteria three on the screen the first is novelty that means the invention should be new, new worldwide either i want to file only in india but the novelty will be checked worldwide as i said in the, my previous slides only if you file in india someone sitting in us can use that invention but cannot file because novelty has been lost because you have already purchased uh, you have already filed here same way when you go for filing only in India, you have to check the novelty of your, you do a patent search there, you have to check the novelty of your patent and the, no, the invention should be novel worldwide. There are free and paid databases and there are skilled, I would say, specialized people who are called patent searchers in this field who actually give you the best results. No one can give you 100% accurate result in case of patent search, but yes, 
people give you the best results then the second criteria is inventive step or non obvious also that means your product or process whatever you have designed should have technical advancement should have uh, uh, at least one or two element minimum modification or uh, increase in the technical advance there should be a technical advancement in the features of the product or the process so it should and it should be not obvious to a person who is skilled in art and the third criteria here is usefulness that means industrial application in case of india so industrial application means whatever you have designed product or process should be used in the same kind should can be manufactured in the same kind of industry and people can use that the fourth criteria which is not mentioned here is your pace, uh, your uh, invention should be subject matter of patent that means like in, in indian uh, nine, uh, patent 1970 the section 3 defines what is patent what is not patentable so your invention should not fall under that uh, criteria of non patentable invention your invention according to patent law should be patentable in your country or in whatever country you wish to file then what you can you patent these were the three three or four criteria which i discussed not what can you patent so i have given here a door lock example and this product shows that a product as a door lock complete door lock new door lock has been made by you can be patented the composition of making a door lock can be patented apparatus from which you will be making a door lock can be patented a process of making the door lock can be patented or you can improve in the product or composition or the apparatus or the process which is already there in the market and then improvement should bring minimum efficiency that means maximize the efficiency or reduce the cost of that particular product or process so that way these things can be patented now 90% inventions in world are either patentable uh, either modification or improvement over the present which is there for example we were having floppy disk then came cd rom then came memory stick now we have cloud and we are waiting what next through web 3 because we are we have already transformed from web 0 to web 1 web 2 and now web 3 we are talking same way who needs patent anyone for for being an inventor you don't need any degree because many of the times i visit i i i take lot of workshops in universities and academics and they say that um uh, we are from mba we are from bba we we cannot invent i have examples from 8th and 7th class students who are patent who are doing patent i have example uh, from the youngest girl who is i think 4 or 5 year old who have uh, got a patent on her name i have example of uh, a boy who is 9 year old has a patent on his name so anyone can take patent who have capability of inventing innovating either uh, a new product or process or modifications or improvement in the new ways to make the product or process or the new applications now how to file for it so see the first step if is if you have a invention or if you have a new product or process idea of that and you have worked on it and you feel like it is novel do for, you search on a google yourself first then get a specialized a skilled person for patent searching so you have to have a good attorney or a patent or a patent company service providers company who can actually do it so you need to have a good patent search report and then that report says if it is file uh, it, it can be filed then you need to a good drafter patent who can write the patent specification then you need to decide if your invention is complete you need to go with a complete application if your invention still needs some 6 7 8, 8 months time you can go with the provisional filing so there are two ordinary application one provisional one complete if still you are working on your research go with provisional filing at least provisional filing will protect the date of your conceiving of that invention that means priority date will be protected because in india first to file system is there if i and you are working on the same invention and same time so whosoever files first his invention or her invention will be taken for the further process first so first to file system is there so if i am working on invention and i find it novel i file it uh, uh, find it patentable i i should say so i will go with the provisional filing and then government gives me Uh, complete 
12 months, that means uh, one year to file a complete applications. So I have 12 months time to complete my invention and then file it again. Now comes when you file it, when your complete application get filed, okay then it will be published so whatever has been filed first it will take 18 months if you have filed a provisional application or complete application whatever first it will take 18 months to get published but there is fast track system also if you file form 9 your application that is request for early publication your application will get published within a month uh, manual says three months so within one to three months your application will get published then there is request for examination. Now, once your application is published, you have to file for request for examination. That means form 18. You need to file this. This is mandatory because if you don't file it, the patent examiner will not read your invention. So publication, till publication, no review of uh, application is being done. Whatever you have filed will be published to disclose it to public. public so that they can read and if they have any objection they can raise the objection because here the pre objection windows or window open pre grant objection windows window is open now you have to find file form 18 to request for examination uh, to the uh, to the controller of the patent office that you please read the invention and whatever your your viewpoint is there please give so patent office will read the invention and issue the first examination report, report, which is called FER. Once the first examination report is given, then you or your attorney, whosoever is taking care of the invention, will prepare a draft uh, uh, reply and submit it to patent office. So this can be one FER, this can be subsequent FERs also, two or three FERs, or maybe patent office asks you for a hearing on that product or process or your uh, invention on your application. And then they uh, then they uh, will give the decide the decide give the result either granted or not granted. If granted, again opposition windows uh, open post grant opposition window open, which is open for next six months. Then now, which all jurisdiction you can file a patent. So you can file a patent in North North if you are from North. Then you can uh, file a patent in Delhi. So there are four patent offices, Delhi, Chennai, Mumbai, and Kolkata. So according to your reason, you can file the application in these uh, patent offices. Patent is granted for 20 years, and then if, uh, it, is, it cannot be renewed until unless uh, you are from a biotech or life sciences or pharma field where PTA, patent term adjustment is given during the clinical trials or there, there are many reasons from which, from, uh, government reason from which it has been delayed. So, so that case, maximum in the pharma cases due to clinical trial delay, uh, they are given the PTA. That means term, whatever time that has been taken will be adjusted with uh, after 20 years. Now, why should you file? As a startup or as an innovator, why you should file? See, it always brings a perception that you have an innovative product for your particular startup or business or as an individual also. It always helps you to do a focused research. You will not uh, just swim in the ocean uh, to find out what to do because you will be only doing you'll be only filing what is feasible for you and while doing the research you will get to know that it is patentable or not how many people are working on that so it, it is all, already going to uh, widen your, up your uh, horizon for that then yes helps in raising additional fund uh, uh, additional funds for a startup because any any uh, i would say any uh, startup the first uh, the investors first question is what is the entry barrier and that becomes very important because <clears throat> entry barrier means that no one can copy your invention no one can copy your product the process or your name or whatever you have designed or out of uh, out of uh, whatever you have said the business so that becomes very important patent helps companies as as the slide shows that uh, it helps company to uh, generate a lot of investment as here one of the social cause who are making uh, i would say lanterns they have replaced the kerosene lanterns with the eco friendly lanterns and the companies have actually uh, invested into it just because they have patented the technology and there is no other company who is going to do the same though they are a social they they, they are a setup with a social cause 
then now if you have got an idea first you need to get your idea protected through patent and then you need to publish if you are uh, willing to publish a paper disclose it to public because anything which is already there in public domain that becomes the prior art and that will kill the novelty of your invention as i was talking he is the youngest he was the youngest uh, now now there is a girl who is i think 4 year or 5 year old has the youngest invest, uh, inventor so he is the uh, one of the youngest inventor of patent holder on his name uh, his name is haridheshwar singh bharti from jaipur now comes industrial design so sometimes every company cannot come with come up with new technologies but many of the company come up with new product shape new products right not the technology is novel but the shape of the product design of the products are very novel so here the designs play a major role and you can find out in the market no mobile phone looks similar no laptop lo looks similar no no automobile um, automobiles or cars or bikes look similar because their designs are protected so anything visual shape of a product configuration of the pattern of the product these all are protected by design protection now features that appeal to eye will come under design registration it can be two dimensional it can be three dimensional but only the outer appearance design uh, i have given any product as i mentioned any product Uh, despite of industry any product uh, design is patentable in fact the wearables which you wear your your clothes which you wear your shoes which you wear uh, every design is in fact your shoes uh, 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 from the companies like nike adidas sketchers the shoes are actually patented the technologies are patented and the designs shape of the shoes are protected under design registration now what is the process of design registration so it's very simple it's not as typical as patent so once you file it so now you have to file with seven views of a product seven views means front back both the side uh, upper view lower view and then the perspective view cd view which we call so and the seven view has to be submitted on the patent office then once you file they will examine they will examine they will give you the objection if there will be and then the objection will be clarified if they are happy then they will publish it here publication means it is granted and after publication you will get a grant certificate so the, this process is very simple but the design should be new original design registration is given for 10 odd year and every after every 10 year you can renew it for 5 more year so that means for 15 years your design is will be registered now comes your trademark trademark is i would say as we breathe air right to live so trademark is that air for any business because trademark is your identity i am known by inobel ip right so inobel ip someone else tomorrow starts a business around ip with the name of inobel ip that will be not good for me because my customer will get uh, confused right someone starts a, a, a burger point right and name it mcdonald so what is the difference between both mcdonald's now the old mcdonald's the original mcdonald has already created its name in the market okay so we know we we trust that brand so the trademark doesn't talks about quality quality but it talks about the goodwill which the brand has created in the market and we go and we sit and very confidently we eat the burger but if someone comes tomorrow and open the burger shop with the name of mcdonald's with the same logo same presence everything we will get confused as a consumer if which which uh, uh, mcdonald is uh, original mcdonald and that becomes very dif difficult for any consumer to judge so that's why trademark is air a breather for any life for any business because your product your services your name your customer identifies from that it can be name it can be sign it can be symbol it can be zingle it can be color combination it can be shape of your product from which the customer is recognizing you for example you take the example of uh, bisleri bottle right so once you you take out the wrapper of the bisleri bottle then also you will be recognizing that this is bisleri why because you recognize the shape of that bottle and color of the color combination of the bottle right you recognize the shape of aquafina you recognize the color combination of aquafina so you will you recognize the product by its shape by its color 
it's not only that it will their name will be only there to protect them but anything which becomes a business identifier will become a, should be filed as a trademark trademark is granted for 10 years and every 10 year you can renew it for 10 years that means it is for lifetime but you keep if you keep on renewing every 10 year it is only a ip which is for lifetime but you keep on renewing then here are the few examples of the fake product like collage, Colgate Her Herbal names at Collage Herbal. Fair and lovely, you can see. Bisleri example I gave. Then comes copyright. So now copyright is a, a, a right which actually protects for creativity. If you have painting, you, if you've done painting, if you have made some art, if you have done, authored some book or if you have uh, authored an article or a research paper or you have written some good lyrics or you have composed a music, you have choreographed a, a dance. So anything which is where creativity is there, literary, dramatic, musical, artistic, these all comes under copyright law. Uh, it is mentioned that ideas expressed in a form will be only copyright. So you, if you think something and you sing a song, you make a song, made a song here, you told someone, but it is not mentioned somewhere. So it will not be copyrighted. So anything uh, which is here should be mentioned and then protected. Copyright is given for life plus 60 years. That means I have authored book. Now, the day I die till and after I die, 60 years from then, that time. So I die at the age of 70. I die at the age of 60, 60 plus 60 years. So life plus 60 years, uh, uh, that copyright will be there. Now, anything which is used to just disseminate the knowledge without taking money, right? So I am using someone's, or someone's presentation or I am using someone's data just to teach just to give you knowledge, but I'm not earning money out of, I'm not selling that data, right? So it is not profit copyright infringement. This happens like many of our faculty sometimes takes pictures from different books to make us uh, understand a few theories, few formulas. So that is not the viol violation of copyright. Now, one product can have N number of IPs. So, like I have given on the screen, you can see I have given a small mobile phone, Nokia, very old uh, mobile phone. So you can have the trademark here, the Nokia trademark name, then product number, that is product 208, yeah, 1320, there are many Nokia phone. Then uh, startup tone, that st as you start the mobile, there was a tone with Nokia, which was very common, that was also registered as a trademark. Then your copyright material is a software. So softwares are not patentable as such in India, but in US software are patentable, but software merged with hardware are patentable. So copyright will be the software of this. User manual will be copyrighted. Ringtones will be copyrighted also and trademarked also. Startup tone will be trademarked also and copyrighted also. Images will be uh, obviously copyrighted. Then patents or utility models. So utility patents are not there in India, but outside India, utility patents are there. Utility means here we have industrial patent, but outside utility means whatsoever you do, you can use daily also, that becomes also patentable. So here data processing method is patentable, operating system, operations of user interface, and in fact, the software, if this is filed outside India. The, in US, not every country allows software patent. Then design. The form of overall foam, that is shape of overall phone, arrangement and shapes of the buttons, and position and shape of the screen will be uh, design registered. And trade secret is the technical know-how of any of this product will be trade, trade secret. And you can take the example of trade secret is like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola didn't disclose its formulation for mo more than 100 years just because patent, if they patented it, the, it would have lost the, uh, the companies would have, the, have started copying the formulation after 20 years, but uh, they didn't disclose it. They didn't file it, but it, they, they somehow managed to keep it uh, a trade secret for uh, one more than 100 years. Same way your Haldiram, your, uh, your, your uh, 
KFC, these these the food recipe they don't want to disclose through patent because anything which you are going to if you are entering into IP right, uh, government ask you to disclose disclose it and then government has to disclose it to public because uh, so that public knows that this is coming and second if someone has objection suppose I am filing something and I have copied already of someone so for objections also and for uh, for a better uh, public governance you can say governance of the law. Uh, public disclosure is important. So this was complete intellectual property rights in short. And now what are the benefits of doing IP research? Why? Because many of the startups say, why to do IP search? Why, why we do patent search or trademark search? Trademarks are also searched by the way. Searched. Designs are also uh, searched by the way. So every, every, every IP should uh, go with a thorough IP research. Why? Because See, we need to know what is exactly exactly state of art right now. What is the trend and new technology is going on? Then it is new way to generate ideas because if suppose I'm working, I, 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 I'm working on a particular product and I'm not doing good research. But if I do research, I got to get to know what the world is working on that. And then I get new ideas out of it because I know, uh, see, I, I am a single brain. But when I am finding so many articles, so many publications, so many patents published or uh, filed <clears throat> on the same uh, product or the same method which I'm going to file. So I will have a lot of research to do and get modified my research in a very well planned manner. Then gain competitive intelligence. Yes, it is very important because whatever you are filing, Whatever you are uh, uh, going to file or you have filed you, uh, and you always have a competitive edge if you file it first. So uh, if I have filed for something uh, and uh, after me, suppose Tarun has filed for something I uh, and we are starting the same business, but my my product is safe because I have I have filed it first. So there through, through from my competitor, I have gained a competitive um, intelligence uh, uh, edge, I would say. License new product that will help you to license new product in your field. Every time you cannot innovate, but if some small company, if some startup has already innovated it, and that was big companies does, that was Apple does, that they find out the companies who, who innovate and then they acquire those companies or they, then they license the product from those companies. Then comes technical uh, solving problem approach uh, is developed. And then identifying and manufacturing a new partner is uh, you also uh, support in that way. Uh, just uh, if you give me one minute, one very important call. extremely sorry for this so uh this was all from my side if any question is there i would be happy to answer that those questions so tarun and anirudh if there, there will be any question i'm happy to take those questions uh i think we don't have any question as of now hmm. So I have seen the chat box. Let me check the YouTube as well. Yeah. Yeah, so no question on the YouTube as well. So thank you so much, Sweta ma'am. It was really great because participants were very confused. Even I was confused when to take the patent, when to take copyright, what are the differences on patent, copyright, trademark and uh, how it is important. So very uh, nicely you have uh, shared the uh, your experience and uh, the detail on this. So thank you so much for your time, ma'am. And yeah. in the coming days, we'll again invite you for the detailed session. And sure. I think uh, Rishuji is also there. Rishuji is also yeah. dealing with the uh, trademark. So uh, Rishuji, if you wish to share something. Hello. Rishuji is asking, share your thoughts on litigation. IPR litigation, which sector litigation you want to know? Then order 3912, if you can uh, discuss. Actually, we are uh, dealing in this area in uh, uh, which? IPR litigation. 
IPR litigation. So, what do you want to know exactly in IPR litigation? Ma'am, the basics. Actually, we am we are dealing in this, and uh, I would like to uh, have your knowledge uh, shown to the participants or shower it to the participants so that. Uh, but IPR litigation is a very vast. I would say so. So there should be a new uh, a different uh, we'll, we'll, workshop. We'll, on. We'll, we'll take separate session on this. Yes, uh, so this IPR litigation is a time. very vast field. And I would uh, will not be do, doing justification with introduction of the IPR and IP litigation. But yes, IP litigation as whole, I would say that in India, the market is still need it's growing very fast for IP litigation. And uh, we don't consider uh, we we actually don't uh, in a very layman language. I'm telling because people here are very new to this field, so we never think about copying uh, someone right we we always whatever we get and we just put ourselves into particular thing if we get something on youtube if we get something on google we just cut, cut copy paste and many a times i have seen that businesses are copying and uh, without fear of litigation because to tell my viewers who are watching this litigation is if you are in a very layman language if you are copying someone or if you are infringing someone right so that person can sue you. That person can sue the person who is copying. So there comes the litigation part, uh, court court part that uh, there, there there will be many cease and desist notice. If you are not replying to that, then the litigation is taking taken care by the court. So it's a very huge topic. It's a very vast topic which we can talk in detail in some other uh, workshop. But yes, uh, to avoid litigation, I can tell you that uh, always have a good IP research and a good uh, IP watch on your product also to file for litigation. So two things which is very important is one, uh, have a good IP watch uh, for every SMEs and startups, have a good IP watch, which we as a business ignore many a times, many a times we ignore. Second, have a good IP, uh, IP research to avoid litigation. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, as you said, uh, that litigation is really very vast topic. So I will definitely ask my team to organize some other session, uh, a separate webinar on this, and then we'll invite you to share your uh, experience out there. So thank you so much on behalf of uh, team Gepa Global. We uh, thanks to you and all the participants who are joining over YouTube and who have joined over Zoom. So thank you so much. If so Anurudh, there is one question yeah. I would like to answer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so uh, Shivansh, I think he asking that any source from where we can check on what. So if you, as a startup or as a company, if you give your IP, if your IP is being monitored by uh, or taken care by some attorney, uh, you can give them this work to keep the watch because they have different source of databases. They have different databases where they can keep through them uh, that they can keep the IP watch. So at all, trust your attorneys like you trust your doctors. They will definitely provide you this service. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, Anirudh. Thank you so much, Tarun, thank for inviting me. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, Tarunji, and thank you all the participants. Thank you so much.